So it wasn't like I was eight years old. I'm like, I'm going to be a rock and bass player one day. I didn't even know that existed. I think the only thing I can remember is that I must have said something one day, like I want to be, I want to be like a surgeon nurse. I didn't even want to be a surgeon because I've never seen a female surgeon before. So all I could imagine, I wanted to cut into people and look what's in there. I thought that was very fascinating because I looked at my cat one day being operated on. But in my mind, I've never seen a woman do that. So I, and you know, I'm, I, I'm from 1966. So at that time it was even worse. You know, the time when I was born, there were certain things that just were not existing. So for me, in my mind, the closest I could get to a scalpel was being the nurse who hands it to the doctor who is male. So that was the thing in my head. And then um, I think my mom at that point, she must have been in her mid-30s or such, she started reading a, a, a German feminist magazine because she started realizing, wait, this is not really how it should be, you know? Like, what do you mean I can't or this? I mean, it was like really the, the, the second wave, I think they call it, of feminism. So I grew up with reading feminist magazines, what were fantastic because all of a sudden they were highlighting women who did cool stuff. So I started seeing things. And when you see things, you go, oh, I can do that. Oh, that's kind of cool. I luckily grew up with people who encouraged that I know how to use a hammer. And I don't know, like I just grew up with you're not supposed to be just this, you can also be that, you know, just because you're female doesn't mean you know how to cook. I still don't know how to cook. <laughs> I'm really bad <laughs> at it because I was the one outside dealing with repairing stuff. I, I don't know. It just never occurred to me that I can't do it. But it's all because I had a mom who started questioning. So that to me is always when people ask me about what I think is one of the most important things, especially when we were in a band, they always said, why don't you guys have children? And I said, and where would we put them? pointing at the van, you know, like this whole uh, does not compute. How do you think f children would fit in what we're doing? If, if you want to do this, you can't do that. Contraception is one of the most amazing and important things ever. And I think unless you have that choice, um, reproductive choice in any way, there's no question what you're going to do. You're going to be a mother and you're going to have six children.